Connor, just to let you know, this is 54 megabits. This is terrible. Okay, I'm gonna start mine. It's recording. Okay guys, welcome back to another Newbie Reviews. Today, we are taking apart the existing wireless ethernet setup. And right here is the setup that I have right now with the cable modem, with the, I've got a bunch of other devices over there as well, with a secondary router, my battery backup and a whole bunch of cables so right now let's get things started and let's get everything unhooked and rehooked right after this all right guys here we go let's get everything unhooked starting with the cable modem i'm hooking unhooking the power unhooking the ethernet cable from the internet provider and bye bye it's not gone. And I'm trying to get it off as fast as I can. Okay, that's gone from the provider. We'll need that in a minute. I don't know why I unhooked that because I really just need the power adapter for this. Let's get all the cables out. We'll be unhooking this one as well. Power supply, cabling, and the daughter. This one, I got to tell you, it's a... Uh, Connor, watch this. It's a... Good night for that. Okay, Paul, stand on that. All right. I think we are good to go. Uh, that's a mess of a cable, so let's unhook the things we don't need. Okay, folks, as you can see, I've just mounted the AX4 up on the wall. And I'm just going to run some power to it. Just going to see how much cable I need. Still going to use my battery backup. Let's not power it up. So we have our patch cable. Using one of the gigabit ethernet ports. And I'll have one more spare for the network laser printer that we have. So right now that is the look of the device. We'll straighten these cables up. I do have some cable management ties. And that all goes down to the UPS. And now I'm just going to hook up the cable. Let's see how it works. QR code scan, connect, okay, scan the code, reboot your modem, unplug your internet modem, remove and reset any batteries, plug your motor back and wait for the power on. Alright, let's see what we're going to do about it. Right now, the modem is trying to boot up again, I hope. Still hasn't come on yet, which is kind of strange, but we'll see. It takes up to a minute or three. So far, no success. There we go. There we go. We have transmission, we have connection. And we are connected to the web, the ISP, I mean. And let's see what happens here. All right, let's have a look, see what's happening here. Unplug your motor back and wait for the power on. Okay, I'm going to go next. Connect your router. Use the provided Ethernet connector. 
Next, I've done that. Router not found. Just unplug this thing. Okay, so I have connected. It is doing an update to the router itself. I've changed the password and the naming of the router itself. So while it's doing that, let's take a quick break. All right, folks, so that's the Wi-Fi 6 Netgear AX4 installed the wall upside down antenna set out got your cables going all down to the plugs into my UPS and of course attached to the modem surfer and that's it for now so let's go set it up on the computer connecting to our Wi-Fi 6 oh this is what I can't show you guys. Okay guys, we've just hooked up our internet connection. It is on. Let's double check to see how powerful and how good this is right now, guys. Here's the moment of truth, folks. Thirty-three megabits. That's it. The router is now fully configured and updated. And let's see what's next. Try loading some personalization software, I'm not sure. Well, 
we'll get back to it because I'll let it finish its sweet old time. Well, this is kind of interesting. They gave us a little sticker with the QR code of your default password. Don't worry, guys. I'll be changing the SSID name and I won't be broadcasting it and the password will be changed. So it's cool though.